Hi guys, I'm back. And I have this cool thing behind me. And it looks cool, but it's really not. <laughs> no, really, it's alright. Uh, it does its job. Uh, it's a sugar cane farm, as you can see. And it's uh, supposed to be highly efficient, but I think I've done something wrong. Uh, there's not the, the when you the pistons in there you see they're all sticky pistons I just used what I had on hand and I've got a lot more um, I didn't have to make any of them I already had them on hand. anyway so don't call me wasteful I have a uh, deal here anyway it's supposed to push out and break off the sugar cane and it does it's also not supposed to land on the dirt blocks that often but it does so yeah I don't know what I did wrong but obviously I did something wrong because there's a lot of it that doesn't make it into the water stream there into the hoppers but I thought today since I'm out here and you guys have never seen me build uh, oh yeah this is the side ignore the ladder uh, this is the side here just I didn't want to make it look like a plain old gray cube. Uh, in any case, let's go on up here. I'll lay down a round or two for the roof. And, uh, not really sure what I want to do with the roof. But, um, I'll figure something out. <laughs> right now, I'm just going to alternate uh, cyan and orange. Um, uh, there's got to be a faster way of doing this. Come on. All right, now look. Something's not right here. Options. Video settings. Render distance. See, I see. Let's put this on short. Not short plus 32 or 16. Just short. There. That'll fix things. Okay. So... I don't talk too much when I'm building, not even to my own family, because I'm having to think. Of course, this is pretty brain dead right here, just play, laying blocks. But I thought I would go around at this height, just above the the normal. Whoop! Haha! Redstone. Just above the normal. Uh, oh, really? The top of the wall, and lay down alternating orange and cyan so I'll do the cyan or the orange layer and then we'll get down from here because I have a few things I'd like to show you things that I have done since the last time I was on here and to do that I need to get away from here uh oh look I had um Let's see, you see the skellies over there? That's my skeleton farm. I believe you've seen that before. I had a home set there, because as a senior, I get five homes. And uh, that just means, hooray, you stuck around a long time, you get a extra reward. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I get five homes. But now that we've got horses, I've realized I don't need to set a home there. It's fairly close. It's only, what, 600, yeah, 661 meters. I can ride a horse that far easily. Um, we'll get back to this later. I'll do that off camera. You guys don't want to see me build. All right. Jump down. Uh, fortunately, I have Feather Falling 4. All right, let's go in here and get a nap. Because... As you can see, I've got this pick here, and I've about used it up in the nether. And the cool thing about that is I don't care. It doesn't matter because, really, I can get picks all day long. I got picks for days. The first thing I'm going to show you is my sugarcane farm. I have expanded it somewhat. And uh, it's not, I'm sure it's not ready to harvest yet. Uh... Just watch yourself because this may get a little disorienting for a moment. We're going to ride this down here. I could go down the water, the ladder out into the water. This is no fun. And we'll jump off right here. Okay. 
you may be familiar with this sugarcane farm. You've seen this one before. I replaced the slabs with uh, carpet. There's water underneath here. See? There went my minecart back. Ha. Ah, okay. But what you don't know is I built another one down here, and it's quite a bit bigger. There we go. It's a good bit bigger. Um, I can get, depending on how fully grown it is, I generally get just over one full stack of emeralds when I t turn this into paper and trade it. <clears throat> so let's get up here. Anybody been talking to me? Nope. All right, here we go. And hope. into the water. Yes. Now then, uh, what have I been doing? Well, I got a few more priests over here. I don't worry about food because I don't eat that much. I, mean, I, don't, I don't. I've got all more food than I need. Okay, so I've got nine priests in here. They're, most, they're mostly unlocked. Um, this guy's still the best. He's got that awesome pig trade. And it is right there. See, that's why I don't really need I don't need to be, uh, buy picks or make picks. I just buy picks. I'll just bring them over here and get them attended, which I will demonstrate in a moment. <sighs> okay, now then. Uh, go over here. I've got a few more farmer villagers in here. They're hanging out doing their farmer thing. They suck. I don't like them. Their trades are terrible. Uh, what do we have over here? Is this guy still by himself? Yes, because I had one in here. I had another butcher sitting right here, and I was going to put him back there with this guy. We had a zombie siege. And if anybody ever tells you that zombies cannot spawn in a well-lit area during a zombie siege, T call them a liar. Let me show you something. I'm going to press my L key here. Transfer. Okay, you notice up here in this area, it says safe. All right. See all those red spots underneath there? That means it's dark enough for mobs to spawn. Even though there's no room, they still could if it, if it were was room. It's dark. Okay. Nowhere out here. There's nothing. No places where they could spawn. And here's a few possible places. It's right on the edge of the possibility of dangerous enough to spawn there. Um, but, yeah. See, this whole place is well lit up. Now, the zombies come from a long way away. So, one day, I come over here. Or, one night, I come over here. Go inside. This guy's freaking out. There are five zombies standing around in here, one of which is a zombie villager. And oh, my minecart sitting here with nothing in it. So yeah, they killed my they killed my villager, and they spawned in here, even though there's no possible place for them to spawn in here. They did it. So don't let anybody tell you they can't. What time is it? It's only 11 o'clock in the morning. Something's wrong with my the screen on my laptop here. I don't know. It's, it seems darker than it should be. Okay, so nothing has changed in here. I've got this guy, and he refuses to go beyond this trade. Here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. They, these guys have eight trades. Eight or nine. He refuses to go beyond that seventh trade. And it's infuriating. Because if he will, I'm pretty sure he'll be another paper villager like these two. This guy, remember last time? He had he won a 33 paper for a, uh, an emerald. Well, now he's renegotiated down to 24. This guy started at 25. But. Yeah, he hasn't renegotiated yet. We'll see. I haven't been working with him very long. And since I've been, uh, I've expanded my farm down there, 
This is the emeralds I've got. Yeah. So we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we're going to need 2 for the priest. So, this is what I meant the other day about not ever having to have emeralds, I mean diamonds again. Not requiring them for anything. Oh, let's talk to this guy because we need to buy from him. Four. Five, whoops. Four. All right, he wants ten emeralds for a diamond pickaxe, so let's buy that. Thanks, buddy. He'll eventually lock me out of that. What is his name? Is it something that's going to be difficult? Oh, Lord, no. Oh, that'll be easy. So, let's get over here. We'll talk to this guy right here. Hi. Now then, I'm going to give him my pickaxe. And I'm going to give him my I'm going to take my pickaxe. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I never have to buy, I never have to have that in my pen. Because this guy right over here has got all of the armor, weapons, tools, everything I need. And all I have to do is buy it. Uh, and you'll notice he's even got chain mail or chain leggings and chain everything. And yeah, so yeah, he's great. <laughs> Uh, have gotten just unlocking all these guys' trades. I've got a stupid number of. Well, I've, I've, I've got a stack over there of uh, bottles of enchanting. And anything over a stack, I just used it. Yeah, so. Okay. I don't think I have anything left to show you. Uh. This guy here, though, he has the property plot next door to me. I'm going to have to see how long it's been since he's been on. I'm just curious as to uh, where he's at. We're going to do slash scene, N-E-T-R-O-K-U-S. Two months. Hmm. Well, we'll wait till after 1.7 update here on the server and see if he's quit or what. I don't know. He hasn't been on in over two months. <clears throat> well, in any case, I'm uh, pretty sure that's all I had. I didn't have anything interesting to maybe show you guys or kind of went through it quick today, didn't talk a lot, but, yeah, anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get, let you go, and we'll see y'all later, bye.